Camp Odioqua, 700 beautiful acres in the Hawking Hills. For city kids from challenging environments, it's a special place to spend a week or two in the summer. And as important as the outdoor experience is at camp, what's indoors is of equal value. The cabins, dining hall, activity barn, and nearly every other building at Odioqua bear the stamp of a very generous company and the man who owned and ran it for many years. Hazlitt Heating and Cooling and Stu McCarg. I've been at the organization 45 years, and I feel like uh, there hasn't been a single one of those days when Hazlitt and later Stu McCarg haven't been a part of, you know, sort of my daily business. And it was typically, you know, hey, we need this at camp, and then somebody say, well, Stu will get it for us, or Stu will take care of that, or I can call Stu, you know, I think he can help us with that. Anytime Dave would call, I knew there was a need, and it needed to be fulfilled, so. Uh, I don't waste a lot of time and try to find the person who can help us with it. Hazlitt was founded in 1909, constructing and maintaining furnaces, first in homes and later expanding into commercial HVAC work. In 1968, while still a student at Ohio State, Stu began his career at Hazlitt. And one of his first jobs was at Big Brother's Big Sister's original office location near campus. I would go over there with a sledgehammer and knock some holes in the wall for our guys to put ductwork in to, to uh, add air conditioning to that facility. And it was through his boss, Hazlitt owner Art Hare, that he first learned about the company's commitment to helping Big Brothers Big Sisters. Art was a big brother in the early 50s. I became a big brother, I think, again, not having any children and wanting to really give back. Um, and he knew that kids needed a lift, and if they got a lift, it would, could mean a great thing to their lives. That same giving attitude and a desire to help children in need is what friends and colleagues see as Stu's motivation in supporting Big Brothers Big Sisters and its mission. Stu likes to give back to what he believes is a value, and uh, I know he believes that kids uh, are a value and if they have an opportunity and they can have some assistance as they're going through that process, uh, they're going to end up being better individuals. Stu has always been a caring person and especially for kids, so he's trying his best, I believe, to make these kids something in the future, do what he can to, uh, to bring them along and help them in any way he can. Hazlitt Heating and Cooling and Stu McCarg have not only donated time and work to the buildings at Camp Odioqua and the agency's offices on our city's north side, they have helped in another key area as well. If we have great buildings, that's, that's wonderful, but if we don't have kids coming to camp to, to use those facilities, then what's the point? Stu has been helpful on both those fronts, both making sure that we have facilities for today and probably for 50 years from now, but he's also been helpful making sure that the kids have the ability to come by uh, raising dollars to send kids to camp. For the many lasting contributions that Hazlitt and Stu McCarg have made to Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Ohio, we honor them today with the Milton Lewin Legacy Award. Milt Lewin's legacy to the agency runs deep, and those who knew him and know Stu McCarg find that the two men have much in common. Stu hasn't done anything to want an award. Stu's done things that has earned him the award. And I think Milt was a lot that way also. Uh, Milt wasn't looking for pats on the back or, you know, look at me, look what I've done. Uh, he just saw a need and filled it. I'm oh, very proud, very proud to, to know that I have such good friends that that helped me in some of those endeavors too. I've been very supportive, so they deserve a lot of thanks also. Um, but you couldn't get these things done without the help of other people. And um, leading a team to do that is very satisfying and uh, very rewarding to know that these people support um, a great organization and have 
have performed each time I've called him. I do look forward to, to working with him in the years ahead and, and hope that uh, Camp Odioka and Big Brothers Big Sisters will stay near and dear to his heart. Mm -hmm.